Lani, I've uh, <laughs> been reading about you and how the Spartan life and you sleeping on the couch here in the gym. Yeah, Tell yeah. us a little bit about how it all come about. Um, so it pretty much started, uh, I come down for my first week off camp. I was supposed to be on off week here, week home. But um, when I got down here, things changed and I ended up just pitching up and not going home. <laughs> and I read somewhere that you said uh, you admitted yourself that you weren't sort of carrying on with what you were meant to do when you got back home. Nah, Is that yeah, yeah, a bit hard on your own up there? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, just more distraction. I think here allows me to be focused and it's nothing but boxing and this fight. That's everything else comes second. So at home, I have whānau and I want to be a, a um, helpful hand, not a goose, what my mum calls me, because I'm always trying to rest and um, get out of the work. But <laughs> she was like, come on, goose. My mum actually calls me goose because I am always seem to be there for reap the rewards, but sleeping while the mahi's getting done. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, you don't get much time to sleep with John, the rebel here, he uh, keep you on the toes, does he? No, he's pretty good. It's part of the um, training schedule, the train. So we train early. He's like, okay, get warm, shower, breakfast, and then sleep. And then he, he's my alarm clock. Sometimes I set my phone to beat him, but if that doesn't work, he's it. <laughs> it's like, come on, switches the lights on, and then we go again, and it's just... Yeah, repeat, repeat, repeat. Lots of repetition. Regimated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and what's that done for you? Like, it, it, you notice your stamina is better, or your strength, or what? What is it that's it's turned around? I think everything, all aspects of my being, like um, socially, spiritually, um, physically, and mentally. Like it's all just. All aspects have strengthened through this process, definitely. Um, and it, it's pretty cool because you kind of don't really notice stuff happening, but it feels like it's all I'm kind of doing. I can actually see the growth week by week, which is pretty cool. I was next door at uh, Strike Force, and Aaron um, Boys was telling me that uh, he's noticed you physically, the strength wise. I am um, pretty strong these days. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Um, nah, definitely. I think just with all the repetition, pushing myself um, to the verge of breaking on the daily, it's like, it's, it's made me sh much stronger, much stronger for it. And punching power, is that going to be different? I've definitely got a lot more pop in it. Um, I've got muscles working with in that punch that i probably sleeping half my career, <laughs> didn't realise I had, so <laughs> uh, definitely the punching power's improved a lot. Like, I, I can feel it's more of a pop opposed to a push, like trying to get it out. Now it's just shooting. Um, yeah, it's shooting Muscle quite nice. Hits. Yeah, yeah, it's just lots of thousands of punches. We've punched so much. I, I'm really interested in what you said there be just a couple of seconds ago about the, the mental thing, you know, because, you know, everybody knows in the fight game that so much of it is up here. Up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's probably been my downfall through my whole career has been my mind. Um, just not focused, um, easily distracted, um, quit easy, like lazy <laughs> I'm just lazy like uh, I'll choose the easy route um, and, and I think I've been blessed with a, a god-given talent to to be able to box naturally um, I haven't had to put as much effort in the gym as others and still kind of progress okay <laughs> yeah. um, so I've never really backed that, that up so that's what I'm really excited about for this fight is backing that up so that's going to be the difference that, that we're going to see from the old Lani to yeah. the... Is my mind. Yeah. And you can kind of already see it with my fights coming back after a two year break. Um, I was probably physically in the worst condition I was in, but my performance were a lot better because I was a bit more better up here, upstairs. <laughs> yeah. Sleeping here in the gym, you know, it's got everybody thinking because we think back, I, I as a kid, 
can remember, you know, reading in the paper about <laughs> the camps where the, they were all on, or, you know, Muhammad Ali and all that. And, yeah. and uh, you know, it, it, does it take you back that? Does it look a bit like a movie or something? Yeah, and childhood, because I'm one of nine kids, so we're always but I styled. <laughs> 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 um, and we always do what works. Um, and I think this works in terms of boxing. You need to live and breathe it. And I've been blessed to be given this opportunity to do that. Yeah. When you're here at night, do you think of anything but fights? Nah, that's just pure. Like I do lots of um, mental prep stuff, um, like affirmations, meditations, all the works, uh, watching boxing fights. I love watching it with John because he can um, give a bit of knowledge and perspective and how we can incorporate it and how it will suit me or what I will do to get around that type of a fighter. So we're, we're just living and breathing it. Mm. Uh, I think you're taking him on a journey as much as he's taking <laughs> you on one. Yeah. Well, it's a cool journey, that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, I've known him for a long time. A lot of people think, remember him as a kickboxer, but I know that boxing's always been the main love. Yeah, he's, and, uh, he's got a passion for boxing. Yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's a history freak as far as the boxing is concerned, and yeah. uh, he's passing on that knowledge. It must be good for you. Yeah, yeah, and I think it was all meant to be. I think our, the whole coincidence, coincidence of us meeting was, it was all meant to be, and I think, like me being a world champion, it's all meant to be. It's part of destiny. It's... It's good. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we can't wait to see you lift that belt up above your head. And uh, <laughs> 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 I bet you've dreamed about that a bit. Well, I, I have. I've never ever dreamed about beating an opponent so bad. <laughs> it's actually uh, it, uh, it shocked me. Actually, I woke up excited. Like it was, yeah, it was out of it. Like I was thinking, oh my gosh, like visualization has been one of the biggest things I've noticed actually in this camp. I've never been able to visualize. Like I think it's like so hard and I do it without even trying now. Like it's, I always just see everything, everything happening. I see m me winning, like, and anything that she comes with, I'm just countering it and capitalizing on it. So it's, it's a good feeling. <laughs> How bad it is, it's going to yeah. be even better in a fortnight's time. Yeah, yeah, not long, not long. <laughs> Good yeah, on you. Great. Hey, thanks. thanks very much, Lani. I really thanks, appreciate Tony. that. Thanks, Tony. It's fantastic. Is the betting the TAB or what? Is it betting? betting. The I don't know, but I bet 10 bucks on myself. Cause that's all I've oh, that's all I've got. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs>